Hello again, and welcome to the fourth part of TurboSound's guide to TurboDrive. This section will look at TurboDrive's factory presets. To begin, we first need to download the presets. To do this, go to TurboSound's homepage at www.turbosound.com. Click Products on the top menu bar, followed by Electronics in the Live Sound section. You then need to locate the section for the LMS device that you're using, either a D24 or a D26. Once on the correct page, look to the left panel and click on Support Docs, and then click the Factory Preset Files to download them. To load your files into TurboDrive, click File and then Load Factory Settings. You'll then need to locate the preset files and load the appropriate one. These will now be available for you to use with your devices. In a system containing multiple devices, it is useful to be able to determine which one is which. By selecting the desired device and clicking on the location icon on the top bar, the LMS selected will display a short message on its screen to identify itself. Double click on the device to begin controlling it. This will open up a small Monicon overview. This can then be expanded to show the full array of customizable aspects. To choose a preset, click on the drop down menu under Recall and select the appropriate preset. The default settings for the preset will then be loaded. You can use the text box in the bottom left corner of the panel to rename your device. This name is then associated with the device for all remaining operations. The gain page allows the adjustment of input and output gains and mutes. The crossover page allows you to adjust routing crossover points and filter shapes for each output. EQ information is also displayed for all channels to give a complete overview of the system's frequency response. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for updates at turbosound.com.